If you want to see me swatch the Cheers to the Beauty palette by Colored Rain, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilen with another video and I am doing a swatch party today. I am going to be swatching the Cheers to the Beauty palette by Colored Rain and I'm super excited. I have jumped the gun and have done a first impressions with this palette. That is what I have on my eyes today because this puppy is getting discontinued. So I wanted to put up a few videos for you before it goes bye-bye so that you can decide whether it is a palette that you are interested in if you don't have it. And it is deeply discounted, at least on the Colored Rain website. So yes, let's get into it. It has a sleeve, so I'm going to take it off. And the palette itself has a design fully on the palette itself, despite the fact that the pattern is on the sleeve, they match, which is great. The Colored Rain Queen of Hearts does not have that. It has plain black packaging, but the sleeve is very colorful. So this was a definite change for Colored Rain, and I think it had to do with the feedback that they got on the Queen of Hearts palette, that people were disappointed that the artwork was not on the palette itself. So it's kind of nice that they, it seems like they listened to the feedback and made some changes, so that's great. This palette has 12 eyeshadows, like the Queen of Hearts, there is no overlap between the two palettes, Queen of Hearts and this one, as far as color. There are some similar colors, but no duplicates. And this one has the highlighter, which is a net new addition to this palette that the Queen of Hearts does not have. That said, I've mentioned it so far many times, but the Queen of Hearts palette is a favorite of the two, definitely. And that would be an explanation for why this one is getting discontinued. If you want to know what is on my eyes, it is in the description box below, but I will tell you very quickly. I have Powder Room as my base color, Raise a Glass as my outer lid crease and lower lash line color, and also Iconic, which I think is this one, yes. Iconic on the inner to center lid. So that is what I am wearing and I think I said boutonniere for the brow bone, did I not? If I didn't, uh, boutonniere for the brow bone. So that is what I am wearing on my eyes today, is this, this palette. I had not done swatches and I did an eye look right away, which is completely out of order for me, but again, this palette is discontinued and I wanted to be able to offer some thoughts. So far, I can say that the shimmer behaves as you would hope. It's a little bit crumbly, but really applies well to the eye. I did use my finger to do that for the inner lid to, to center lid, uh, using Iconic. And then having used so far three mattes, I can offer that the mattes are powdery. They make me think a little bit of Anastasia mattes. They're not as dry as other formulas, not as creamy quite as Anastasia, but close. And powdery mattes don't bother me. If kick up bothers you, then it's just something to note. But they applied beautifully with minimal fallout. So I was pretty happy with that. I think we should get to swatching. What do you think? Uh, there are, like I said, 12 shadows. So I am going to do, I think, four at a time. And then we have the highlighter as well. And I'm going to use this arm to swatch, and I think we can get them all done all at once. And these four fingers, and I think, oh, I couldn't help it. I did a swatch of the Vivid's palette earlier when I was doing my brand new focus in introduction, and I'm kind of a little stained here, hang on. Okay, I think we're good. So let's get started. I am going to go with, I think I'm going to go quad, 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 and then finish with the highlight. Let's see here. I'll do the top two and then the bottom two. So there are the swatches. I doubt you're going to see boutonniere all that well on my skin tone. Oh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Next one. 
And that one is pow yeah, powder room. Um, breeze of glass. And vintage feels. It's not unusual to have mats be a little bit patchy. So I'm going to go in a second time. They did really apply beautifully. I have to say Boutonniere is very creamy, more creamy than I think I gave it credit for when I was describing the shadows. Now they are pretty creamy. They're not as dry as um, another palette I was using just recently. If you're wondering which palette I was using, it was the Morphe 39A. The uh, couple of mattes I was using recently were pretty, pretty powdery. Uh, not powdery, pardon me, pretty dry is what I meant to say. Oh yeah, these build up really nicely, which is what you want a matte to be able to do. It doesn't matter if it's patchy to begin with. What matters is what it looks like when it's built up. And all three of these colors that I used on my eye today, I really enjoyed. Yeah, they're, they're, they're quite nice colors. Obviously, they're going to show more or less on you depending on your skin tone, obviously. Just wiping my fingers to make sure I have a clean finger for the next four. So we did the first quad, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to do the same with the second quad, one, two, three, four. Now this second quad I find very exciting, so let's get right into swatching. I'm really surprised that a gold is called rosé. I don't, don't know why, but it's, it's called rosé. Debonair and rosé, it feels like their, their names are not set up right. It feels like rosé should be the red and debonair should be the, the gold, but what do I know? So we're going to start off with rosé, which again, I don't, I don't get that one. Why is this rosé? No idea. Then icon, no, yeah, iconic. Again, that's the one I have on my inner to center lid. Next one is debonair. I complain about colors and then I don't remember them. Go figure. Okay, my finger slipped a little bit. And then Nightingale is the last one. Oh wow, this one applies really, really nicely. Yeah, the three shimmers applied really, really nicely. I think I just want to build up Debonair. Now Debonair is not as creamy as the other ones and it's a bit gritty. But that does not mean that it won't apply nicely on the eye, and that is a color I'm very excited to use. Every time I use a color like this, it just it looks great, at least on my skin tone. And that is what is left, so a lot of color left at the end of that swatch. We only have one quad left to go. I think I have, yeah, I have enough room on my arm. This last quad is definitely jewel toned and we have Diamond Jubilee, Opulence, Grandeur, and Black Butterfly. All four of these look really nice. And all four of these feel very smooth to the touch, which is quite nice. Uh, this is Diamond Jubilee. Oh, one stroke, that looked really good. Next is Opulence. Don't know why, I thought that was gonna be a little bit darker. Grander. And Black Butterfly. Oh! That is gorgeous. It looks blue to me in the viewfinder, but it's purple flecks on there. How about that green? Does it have, is that a duochrome? I can't tell. Let me just look 
down here for a second. It, they, they all look like they have some extra depth to them. Those are beautiful. Whew. Here's what's left on the fingers on those. Yeah, there's more dimension to this green. That's a duochrome. That's beautiful. It looks like a duochrome. I could be wrong. Wow, those are really nice. All that we have left is the highlighter. But that gives us a really good view of the palette right there. I, I like the colors very much. I think that you can do a lot with the variety in this palette. I wonder why it's not getting more love from folks, but we still have the highlighter to take care of. And of course a highlighter is not going to show the same as an eyeshadow. Oh, it's definitely peachy gold is what I would say it is. It looks, looks kind of peachy gold. My finger's very dry, so it's not the best. I don't know if you can tell. The camera doesn't seem to be picking it up like real life. I'm going to do the back of my hand. I think it might look... It might actually work as a topper. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it shows up. I think you can see it on my hand. Depends on the, the angle. It's very peachy gold. I, I have a feeling, oh, it's, it's really, really quite reflective. I'm, uh, I'm tempted to put Vintage Feels, which is that orangey matte, on my hand and put this on top. Let's try it. So here is Vintage Feels, and this is the highlighter. Let's do that see what happens. Oh yeah, it does change the shadow a lot. Okay, I'm going to put, so I, I've, I've put them one over the other. I'm going to do a swatch of vintage feels on the other side of the highlighter so that you can see the effect yourself. The highlighter can definitely be a transformation shade or transformer shade. Okay, so here is Vintage Feels on its own. The middle is the highlighter, if you can see it. And then underneath here is the highlighter over Vintage Feels. And I'm hoping you can see the difference if I switch my hand over this way. This one was is kind of a, a rusty matte uh, brown. And then this one becomes almost a shimmery brown Shimmer, shimmery brown gold. I like the effect of that. I'm, I'm tempted to do some tryouts of the highlighter on all of the colors that I want to use, especially when I'm doing inner to center lid, just to see how much the highlighter transforms the shadow underneath. Because these, I mean, the top and bottom don't look like the, sh the same shadow anymore really interesting. So I'm going to come up close and show you all the swatches again. I'm just going to put the highlighter in with the other 12 swatches so that you can see them all side by side. So just a second, I'm going to do that. Okay, where am I going to put the highlighter? I think I'm going to put it right at the end next to Black Butterfly. I doubt you'll be able to see it on my fair skin, but let's just try. So again, that highlighter effect and going into the swatches nice and slow from the brow bone, which is boutonniere, all the way through each one of the quads. That red certainly packs a punch. and the highlighter at the end. So that is it. 13 swatches from the Cheers to the Beauty by Colored Rain. 
I hope you found this swatch video informative and I look forward to hearing your comments below as well as looking forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.